In this video, I will show you what the 6 and 12 nailing pattern looks like for a roof with plywood or OSB sheathing. And trust me, I understand how difficult some of this can be to understand. The first number 6 is perimeter nailing. This is the perimeter of the plywood. Now, even though we won't be able to perimeter nail this part or this part of the plywood sheathing, we will be able to nail over here unless it's blocked around the edges or the upper section or the side is going to be touching the fascia board. The number 12 will be referring to the field section or the section in between the perimeter of the plywood. So not too difficult. You can stop watching the video right now if that makes sense. And I believe the plywood manufacturer recommends the minimum distance to put a nail into at the edge of their plywood or OSB is 3 8 of an inch. And that can be difficult if the plywood sheathing doesn't break exactly half on the roof truss or the roof rafter. And if that's the case, I just simply angle my nails. So in my example, I came in a half inch on both sides and I put my first nail here and then spaced them six inches on center. And it's not uncommon to end up with a space that's going to be less than six inches. And if that happens, you might want to reduce the on center spacing. However, I wouldn't advise spacing the nails less than four inches on center because it could end up splitting the roof rafter or the top cord in the roof truss. And your structural engineer isn't going to like that. So hopefully by now you understand the 6 and 12 nailing schedule. For a piece of roof sheathing, let's go ahead and pan out because the fascia board is often referred to as perimeter nailing along with the roof ridge. This will also require the 6 and 12, the first number. And that's also going to include the blocking that is often used to connect the wall framing to the roof framing. And of course, that information can be provided by your structural engineer. So hopefully this makes sense. And if it does, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos on YouTube. And if you can't find the videos on YouTube, make sure that you visit our website to find a complete organized list of all of the videos we've made so far.